Lord Jesus, open the scripture to us. Make our hearts burn while we speak to us. existence and his existence 
to dispel the trouble from their mind, to dispel the things that are not real, to bring, in other words, their feet on the ground, to reassure them, I am with you. I said I will be with you. My Father has revealed it in the Old Testament, and now is given to you. I am here. It is I. These reassurances and the apostles would ignite in them the spirit to lead them to proclaim the resurrection of the Lord. We see that in the apostle Peter on the first reading today, when he expresses with clarity what it is the result of the resurrection. Our Father, God, has glorified His servant Jesus whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. The denial of Jesus and the crucifixion, he says, was a necessity in order to, for God to bring the glory of the resurrection and life eternal to all of us. That's the consequence of the resurrection, that God comes to bring life to each one of us. For us, also, it challenges us on the second reading today from the first letter of St. John. In regards to how we commit sin, and sin prevails sometimes in our life, precisely because we depart from the resurrected Lord. If anyone does sin, St. Saint John says, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. So he opens the door of reconciliation with God, a door that remains open, that even in our weaknesses and our faults, God always leaves it open for us, a way for us to go back to the Father. For us, that may be a greater challenge, the challenge of overcoming the fear of not being forgiven by God, the fear of not receiving His mercy, are not fully participating in the life that God has given us. The fear or the trouble in our hearts when we feel ourselves away from Him, not having His reassuring presence with us. Isn't it true that sometimes we feel that God is not there, that God has abandoned us in a way? So to receive the reassurance of God that I am with you, we kind of need to see the Lord Jesus in a new light. To see the Lord Jesus as someone who shares also in our wounds. Someone who touches our wounds and we touch His. A, a ghost does not have wounds, but Jesus has wounds. That is, He comes and he, we can touch Him. He can touch us and we can enter into our reality with Him. He can really heal us. Our troubles in our hearts, the ghosts from our past perhaps, even if at times they seem too overwhelming, the reassurance of the Lord and His presence with us brings joy to our hearts, especially when we receive Him in the Holy Eucharist. Jesus tells the apostles, have you anything here to eat? Make it a... a the reality of His presence evident for them that He was able to eat fish. But also giving us the reassurance that it is through eating that we receive Him. When we receive communion, we participate and enter into the life. That is how the Lord touches our wounds and we touch His. It is the resurrected Lord that we receive in Holy Communion. We ask the Lord, the resurrected Lord, to enter into our hearts and to bring us, make us be closer to Him. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <coughs>